I'm super excited to bring you this video today. I've been waiting all summer for these. If you don't grow them yourself around here, I don't even know where else to get them. They don't sell them in the stores. I've never seen them at the farmer's market. But luckily, my neighbor, right on the other side of the food forest, he's been growing pawpaws for 11 years. That's what we're talking about. Pawpaws, this is everything you need to know. Pawpaws are one of the few fruits that are actually native to the eastern U.S., which is where I'm located here in New Jersey. They're in the same family as the custard apple and the cherimoya. If you're interested in growing pawpaws, typically they grow in zone four to zone eight. They'll grow in really any well-drained soil, but they might grow up to like 35 feet tall. So make sure you got some space. One great thing about pawpaw trees is where they'll grow. They'll grow in full sun, but they'll also grow in partial shade. And young pawpaw trees, they actually like the partial shade and it actually benefits them. As a result of this, pawpaws would be a great understory tree in a big food forest. Pruning and maintenance on a pawpaw tree is minimal. You really don't have to prune at all. You can just take out any branches that are in your way or anything like my neighbor did because one was in his way in a path and he just took it out and it didn't cause any problem. Another great thing about pawpaw trees is how little damage they get from insects. The reason for this is they have a natural insecticide in them known as acetogenin. This insecticide, it's in the leaves, the bark, and even some of the small twigs and stuff. So if you wanted, you could create your own insecticide spray at home. You can make it, you could steep it, make your own tea, and then spray it on some of your trees or whatever you wanted for a natural insecticide. The flowers of the pawpaw are small and maroonish red. They're not very showy. And another thing about the pawpaw trees is the scent of the flower sometimes is in a very strong scent and they're insect pollinated, which can result in low pollination sometimes. But when the flowers of the pawpaw do have a scent, sometimes they could have like a rotten meat smell. And what that does is draw in some beetles and flies, and that actually help to cross pollinate the pawpaws. And as a result of having low pollination sometimes, it's advised that you plant at least two different varieties of pawpaws. Over here at my neighbor's house, he's got two different varieties planted, and he has a total of three trees. He's got a sunflower variety, and a mango variety. The fruit of the pawpaw, to me, it's like nothing I've ever seen. It's way different than any of the other fruit trees around here. It almost reminds me of like a tropical tree, but it's got large green to yellow fruit, and some of them are really big, I'll show you. And they form in these little groups of clusters here sometimes, when you have good pollination. So when do you know when to pick them? You might be thinking. It's easy. You don't have to pick them off, all you gotta do is just pick them up. There they are. And they're soft like this. You could eat them like this if you wanted. But I like them to get super ripe, super, super soft. That's when they're my favorite. So this one's got the little yellowing, really beautiful. Here are the other two pawpaw trees. The one on the left is a little small, but this one's a beast right here. So healthy, loaded with fruit too bunch of clusters really beautiful look at those I think it's a beautiful looking fruit and really low insect damage so that's always a plus here we've got two pawpaws this one on the left here is the one that just fell off the tree so it's a little harder you could eat it but this isn't how I like it the one on the right here is one that sat for a couple days this is how I like it really soft super mushy when it's like that, it's got really high sugar content. I like the consistency better. And overall, I think it just is a better tasting fruit. I know that I personally can only eat a couple of pawpaws a day and they don't really store that well. So if you have a big harvest, what people like to do is to use the pawpaw as a replacement for banana in some kind of recipe, like a banana bread or something. I've never tried it, but I hear it's pretty good. So first I'll cut into the one that just fell off the tree. The one that's not ripe enough for my personal preference. Here we go. Cut that right open. And you've got seeds that are going through the middle as well. So I like to just cut around it like this. And then kind of just pull it apart. And this is nice yellow on the inside. See, see how it's a little harder on the outsides here? That's not how I typically like it. And next, let me cut into the one. That's just how I like it. Here we go. This was the other variety. That's why it looks a little greener. 
but I didn't have a ripe one of the uh, of the yellow variety. So here, this one you can see a lot softer, and that's the way I like to eat it, almost like pudding. So let's bite into this one. The fruit flies and stuff are already like starting to get at it because it's so sugary, so sweet. The first time I had it, it reminded me of like a cantaloupe, but the texture is just a little different than something you usually have, and so is the flavor. Could be a little stringy sometimes. Mm. The first year I had it though, I admit I wasn't crazy about the flavor. Then every subsequent year, I liked it more. This year, I love them. But again, I can only eat so many fresh. Such a good fruit to have though. Again, like nothing you've ever eaten before. It's, it can almost be a dessert. It's like a fruit dessert. If you're a vegan, this would be a beautiful dessert. And people often, I think, mix it with ice cream or make ice cream with it. So that's also something fun to do if you have a really lot of them. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment down below if you've never heard of the pawpaw tree or even if you have. Tell me something about it maybe that I missed. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.